This video contains information on how to display pollution events identified by satellite imagery. This is the video tutorial for the satellite data visualization of Aqua 3S platform that has been developed by CERTH. Satellite imagery is used within Aqua 3S to identify, localize, and monitor events that affect water quality. The satellite imagery used from the Aqua 3S platform are provided from the Copernicus program that freely provides radar and optical data. Specifically, radar data are retrieved from Sentinel-1 and optical data from Sentinel-2. Regarding the events that are monitored, they include flood events, algae bloom, and oil spills. However, apart from these events, the platform supports the creation and visualization of water bodies, water depth, and water velocity layers that are of interest to the end users. Specifically, Water Bodies Map captures the inundated areas using Sentinel-1 imagery. Water Depth Maps depict the level of the water depth in the inundated areas. Water Velocity Map represents information on the water velocity in the inundated areas onto a map. The Flood Detection module allows the mapping of ongoing flood events occurring in open land regions using Sentinel-1 products. The Oil Spill Detection module allows the identification and localization of small extent oil spill formations on the surface of inland water using Sentinel-2 images. The Algae Bloom Detection module allows the estimation of algae bloom concentration and specifically of chlorophyll A uh, by using Sentinel-2 images. The platform provides the same functionalities for all the aforementioned satellite layers. And thus, in this video, we are going to showcase one of them. However, before moving presenting a specific example on satellite, we present the functionalities of the map itself and of specific tools integrated into the map that are common for all the available data. Thus, apart from visualizing the aforementioned data, the map itself provides some basic functionality like the zoom in and zoom out. It also has two basic modes that users can select regarding the display of the map, the satellite, and the street mode. Moreover, the user can change the orientation of the map and can move to another region of the map. On the left part of map, there is the menu panel, which is organized based on the categories and subcategories of the available data that contains filters with toggle buttons, so users can set the visibility of the data. On the bottom part of the menu there is the simulation functionality tool, that allows the user to select a period in the past for filtering and returning historical data. Moving on to the visualization of satellite data, if a user wants to see for example any of the aforementioned layers can go to the menu and activate all or a specific one by clicking on the buttons. However, given that apparently there is no available data, the user needs to go to the simulation. and search for historical data. Now the user can see the data of the selected date here. And can toggle on and off the visibility of specific layers. Users can left click on the layers and an inf window will open on the right side of the screen that contains the following information. The coordinates of the clicked point of the layer, a short description of the displayed data, 
a color picker, an element that displays the current color of the layer. The name of the file and a button labeled Download Shapfile that provides the functionality to download and store locally the shapfile of the displayed layer. Thanks for watching.